So if you're looking for an inexpensive laptop here in the United States on Black Friday, chances are you might come across this Lenovo PC that's being sold at Best Buy. For Black Friday, it's being sold for $119. And that's the best deal I've seen thus far on a laptop for Black Friday. The manufacturer is Lenovo, and we're gonna go into more detail on the laptop here, but just let's go through the specs first. It has an AMD processor in it, which is the A69220E, clocked at 1.6 gigahertz, and that's a dual core processor. It has four gigabytes of RAM in it, and it has 64 gigabytes of eMMC storage. Now, eMMC storage is soldered onto the board. So this laptop is not upgradable. It has a 14 inch HD display, and it has a two cell battery. This is what they call platinum gray. It runs Windows 10 Home in S mode, and it is the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim. So let's start with the charger here. So the power brick is Lenovo branded, and it has a little bit of an indent there for your fingers, so you can pull it out of the socket. And it has a nice little handy Velcro strap here. It's a little over six feet in length, and that's how it plugs into the laptop. Speaking of the laptop, let's take a look at the device. It is very thin. It is a plastic construction. You have your Lenovo branding up here on this badge, and that is made out of metal, that little badge there. And uh, the Lenovo lettering appears to be etched in that little badge there. but. Everything is plastic. It's sort of a, a silvery plastic here. On the bottom, you have a gray plastic. And again, this is not upgradable, even though you can access the back here. You can open these little screws and take a look inside. Uh, what you see down here, you have the four rubberized feet. You also have some venting here, and it looks like you have 10 screws that uh, mount the base on this. You have your speakers here, stereo speakers. And let's take a look at the ports here. On the left side of the laptop, you have your power port. You have a high-speed USB. You actually have two of them. You have an HDMI port, and then you have a micro SD card slot. Now, it also looks like you have a power LED here. This one, I'm going to have to look up and see what that is. You also have an LED back here for when you're charging it. On the front, there is nothing except for sort of a little bit of an area here where you can open up the device, which we will do in a second. On the right-hand side, there is nothing except for a headphone jack, a microphone and headphone jack here, combined port. On the back, you just have the hinge. It's not too heavy, but it doesn't feel too light either. And uh, again, this is a very inexpensive laptop, so we're gonna judge it based on that. So let's open this up. And we have the little piece of muslin here to protect the screen. And we also have this piece of paper here. Lenovo Services, thank you for your purchase. You are going to love this. So you get 15% off your first services order. The first thing I notice when I see this laptop is the matte screen. I've said this since the beginning of this channel. I will take a matte screen over a glossy screen any day of the week. You do have a webcam up here. You have next to that, you have an LED so you know when it's on. And then you have your two microphones here. Again, this is a 14 inch screen. Around the screen, you have a black bezel, which is a matte black bezel. You have a little bit of the gray here, and then you have the silver on the keyboard area and the palm rest as well as the trackpad. It's a good size trackpad, and it seems to click mostly at the bottom here. You have your Lenovo badge here. Again, same as, well not the same, but similar to the lid. And then over here you have your AMD A6 branding, your little badge there. 
The keys are a dark gray and they're chiclet style. They are actually the characteristic Lenovo shaped keys where you have the uh, circular bottom and the squared off top. The keyboard thus far seems to be pretty decent for a laptop of this, of this price point. So the power button is right up here in the upper right hand corner of the keyboard. So why don't we fire that up, see if we have a charge here. There may not be a charge. Let me hold this down. Okay, so there's no charge on the battery, but that's no problem. All we need to do is plug it in. So of course, when it's plugged in on the, right near the power port on the LED over here, it's illuminated. So now we should be able to fire this up for the first time. There we go. So we have the Lenovo splash screen here. So this runs Windows 10 Home in S mode. And what that means is that you can only use apps on this that come out of the Microsoft Store. So you can change that if you'd like, but uh, we're just gonna let it go through this process here. And in the meantime, let me get this little tab, this plastic piece off of the webcam right there. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? No. Next up, the legal stuff. In short, you'll need to select Accept to use Windows. You can decline, but then, you know, no Windows. Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. These are the settings Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them and select Accept when you're ready. So by default, everything is clicked on here. Uh, the only one that's kind of hidden here is Advertising ID. Uh, we're, we'll accept it, we can change it later. Windows can save your spot in apps, files, and websites, so you can keep doing what you were doing even when you switch devices. Just choose Yes to sync your activities. Yes. Hey, look, that's me, Cortana. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? Yes. Your device manufacturer would like your contact info to send you updates and such. All right, protect your device. This is Lenovo specific, so that's why it's not reading it to me. Uh, add this device to my Lenovo ID profile. Sign up to receive email exclusive offers. Lenovo may share my email address with McAfee to register my antivirus security suite. Not too crazy about that, but I'm using a kind of a junk email for this anyway. Uh, help Lenovo improve your device experience by allowing anonymous data collection. I'm just gonna allow everything here. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. So while that's doing that, uh, the first thing I want to comment on is the keyboard. The keyboard 
is much better than I thought it would be at this price point. Now again, this is a Black Friday deal, so the regular price on this is a little bit higher, but it still is a low-end PC. So I'm very happy with the keyboard thus far. I haven't uh, played around with any entry-level PCs lately. It's been a while since I've done that, so uh, this might be you know par for the course, or it just might be because it's a Lenovo PC. Uh, again, temper your expectations. It is a an entry-level PC. You're not going to be getting high-end features out of this PC. When you think about phones, cell phones these days, costing over a thousand dollars. Uh, you know, a $120 PC is quite a bargain. So let's see what we've got here. All right, let's set up your new tab page. Now, I might take this opportunity. I use Chrome as my web browser, and I really have never given Microsoft Edge a chance. But I might with this PC because I'm going to use this as my daily driver uh, for as much as I can and uh, really dive into the experience of Windows Home in S mode and see if I can live in it. But um, let's see, see your favorites, passwords, histories, and more on any device. Uh, yeah, let's just get through that. So it's bringing me to a new web page here. Find your favorites. All right, that's the star there. That's pretty easy. Install and extensions. All right, that's the uh, three dots over here and then try collections. Click here to start a collection. Well, okay. There we go. Start a new collection. Collections allow you to collect, save, and share content you find on the web. Okay. Okay, so you can drag content. All right, interesting. So you can open up your collection in Excel or copy it to a clipboard. Hmm, interesting. Now I don't see it up here, but I assume I could just, you know, enter it in there. I might take this opportunity to just, you know, dive into this experience here and, you know, see what it's all about because that's how the product is sold. I mean, you could do anything with this. You could take it out of S mode. You could put Linux on this computer. You could do anything that you want, but I really want to try and use it as it's intended here. So the first thing I need to do is change the scrolling because I'm not a fan. But uh, one thing, I just want to comment on the, uh, the trackpad. Pretty responsive. No complaints here thus far. Okay. Scrolling direction. Down motion scrolls up. No. That's not... That's not the way I like it. There we go. All right, so we're on the Best Buy website, and here is this laptop here, the Lenovo IdeaPad 1 14-inch laptop. And normally it goes for $229.99. Right now it goes for $119.99. So you get almost, it's almost half price. So on the specifications here, really the only two things that uh, stick out here uh, that we haven't gone over before, it says the battery life is eight hours. Of course, uh, that is under optimum conditions. Uh, in real life conditions, we'll see how that actually pans out. And the screen resolution is 1366 by 768. So that is pretty much the lowest end of HD that you can get. However, again, temper your expectations. This is not a high-end laptop. It is, it is an entry-level budget laptop, and you should expect uh, that out of it. So here we are on my YouTube channel, and we're just going to pull up probably the most recent one I've done at the time of filming this video here. And let's play it, see what the quality is, see if you know there's any skipping, and let's see also what the sound quality is. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of a translation because you have the abstraction, obviously, of the, the camera filming it here. But uh, let's click on this and let's see what we got. So in this video, I'm going to transfer a game and a game save from my PlayStation 4 to my PlayStation 5. So I'm actually using the media remote to do the navigation around here. Uh, I'm going to go into settings here, and I'm going to go into system. And then I'm going to go to data. 
was the game that I wanted to transfer. The minute that so there's 21 minutes left on Erica. Let it die hasn't even started, and then the total data transfer is up above. So we're only 11, almost 12 gigabytes into a 90 gigabyte. Okay, so first impression is is that you saw a little bit of a lag when I tried to make it make the video full screen. Uh, the audio I cranked it up all the way, and it's uh, as you would expect. The speakers are not the highest quality. Uh, you can hear everything. It might be a little bit on the lower end. So there you go. A little bit of a lag when I shrink it up again. So the purpose of this video is just to unbox this laptop and get some first impressions. It's not intended to be a full review at this time. I need a little more time with this device uh, before I can give you a verdict. So stay tuned to the channel for that. So one other thing here is this is how far the hinge goes back on the laptop. I always like to see how far it'll go back because you never know with a laptop what kind of configuration you're gonna be using it in. And uh, I tend to find that the further it goes back, the better. So first impressions thus far. The build quality is a little bit better than I thought it was going to be. Of course, it is not a high-end laptop, so keep that in mind. Uh, the keyboard is a little bit better than I thought it would be. Uh, the trackpad is probably on par, at least how plasticky it is. Uh, but it is nice and responsive, and it is a good size. Uh, the way the laptop looks, it's a nice-looking laptop. It's pretty light. It's got a decent amount of ports on it, and it has a nice thin form factor to it. As I mentioned, you could put Linux on this. You could get it out of S mode if you'd like. But I'm going to give it a try as it is intended because it is that low-end laptop experience. If you're looking for something that's going to play your high-end games, look elsewhere. This is not that device. But if you're looking for a web surfing device that you can get some productivity done on, this may or may not be what you're looking for. And again, I'm going to have to put it through its paces and just an hour or so with this is not going to do it. So I'm going to need to use it as my daily driver. Uh, so we're going to have to put that off for another video. So that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you'd like to help out this channel, you can give me a thumbs up. You can share this video on your favorite social media, or you can actually join my Patreon, all of which is greatly appreciated. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. We'll